Imagine a strategy so risky that even his own colleagues initially thought it impossible. That's Rassi Erasmus, the Springboks coach known for challenging all rugby conventions. Erasmus has always been a mind that sees the game from a different perspective and his approach to substitutions on the bench is one of the best examples of his genius. In a recent interview with the BBC's Rugby Union Weekly, during the Springboks training period in Jersey, an island between England and France, Rassi revealed the background of one of his most controversial decisions, the six forward, two back, or even seven forward, one back bench strategy. Many rugby analysts consider this crazy, but Rassi sees it as a calculated move. He explained that it all started from a common but rarely discussed frustration, the uselessness of a reserve who doesn't get to play. According to Erasmus, this often happened with the backs, players who would be left sitting, waiting for an opportunity that rarely came. I was always frustrated when I saw a reserve backline player sitting there with five minutes to go and he didn't get game time, Rassi shared. It's a waste of a position, waiting for an injury. Then I thought, sometimes we play with a yellow card for 10 minutes and sometimes two yellow cards in the game and you survive. So Erasmus decided to look at the statistics and found a pattern. In several games, they ended up with an unused substitution. From there, the idea was born. Why not load the bench with more forwards and fewer backs? Thus, the 6-2 and even the audacious 7-1 bench split was born. And as with any innovation, it met resistance. Then I said, why don't we go 6-2? That was a big thing, 6-2. They said, you can't go 6-2, he recalls laughing. I said, we don't use the other back, but we will use the forwards. However, Erasmus himself acknowledges that this tactic is only feasible because of the unique connection between the spring box forwards, where everyone has an essential role and pushes one another. You can't go 6-2 or 7-1 if your forwards are not very close to each other, or similar pushing one another, he explained. It only makes sense if they are very close to each other. The backline players are tough. You can only make an injury and force change or a player has a bad game. He is not firing that day. This change did more than just fill bench spots. It helped the Springboks stand out with an intensity few teams can sustain. But of course, Rassi admits that it's not always an exact science. It was calculated, but sometimes it was risky. The upside is that if I didn't try it and we lost, I would never have forgiven myself. Now, all that remains is to see how this innovative strategy will continue to shape the Springboks' performance against Europe's rugby giants. What do you think? Is Rassi's bold bench strategy the secret behind the Springboks' success?